welcome back okay thought i would show you this system it's a darn nice truck really nice electrical system that we've all done the team have done an incredible job with this electrical system but have a look at the size of this big blue bus it is amazing it's huge it's got this large garage space it's even got a crane there the original uh, use for this bus was like a day van for sort of go-karts the, the original owner used to take go-karts in the back of this so he's got this big crane at the back here so he could lift go-karts in and out of the back of this van drive around the place sleep in there and you know do his go-kart and racing and stuff so that is the crane there the electric electrical system is also in this garage space but i'll show you that in a little while we fitted four monster solar panels up there so over a kilowatt of solar also there has a onboard generator here which she used to use for when the batteries got low or, and they used to use it for the roller shutters on the back of the van but now that is can be all run on the inverter and the electric system let's get into this van and show you a quick uh, sneak peek on the inside of it the door that opens we've got 12 volt steps that come down like so let's go up and turn some lights on right okay some lights so walk in instantly into a living space escape hatch into the cab massive tv on the wall I guess this makes a massive bed as well. They put some more lights on around. Bear with. Hang on, hang on. Looking down the other direction, we've got kitchen on the right hand side here. Fridge, oven. I guess then this is going to be the bathroom in this in this cupboard. Oh, big shower over there. Sink. Toilet, massive bathroom. And down towards the end, we've got bunk beds. Bunk beds in here, and there is actually, there's another door here to the outside world. But there's actually an escape hatch into the garage. It's got shelves and things, and it is a narrow thing, but you know, you could get into the garage or back here. We've fitted the touch screen for the servo here, so the customer can see what's going in or out of the batteries. It's a really rainy day. Look, have a look at this, look at this weather. Cloudy and rainy day. Yeah, we're still getting 323 watts of solar. It's getting getting kind of full now, so we're not, it's not putting much in, but yes, yeah, still, still, still five amps of charge. Um, in the top here is a whole lot of consumer uh, breakers in the consumer unit there. It's, uh, it was a lot of figuring out to do but oh, it's, it's, it was a lot of figuring out to do. Again, the team did a great job. Great job with that. Yeah, lovely space, huge space. Air conditioning on the roof. Let's turn the lights off. Let's go back around to the electrics. We'll show you what we did. Lights. Oh. All right, we've got to clean this floor before the customer arrives, but have a look at this system. Let me run through the system. The team done an incredible job. Checker plate, aluminium checker plate, back and board. Let's start with the battery, shall we? We've got two 230 amp hour Drift Pro Fogstar batteries in series to create a 24 volt system. The row above, we have three Orions. The two on the left are 24 to 24 17 amp chargers. They charge this these batteries when the engine of the is on also when the engine is on this orion charges another battery there is a generator you saw the generator down down there there's a starter battery for the generator and lead acid or agm starter battery in there 
that battery now also gets charged when the engine is on. So there's three Orions working when the, when the engine is on. So when you pull up somewhere after a drive, these batteries should be charged. The battery to start your generator should be charged as well. Shouldn't have to use the generator as much anymore. He used to use it for the roller shutter on this. Oh, and lots of other pieces. There's lots of things in here that run on mains. So shouldn't have to run the generator much. Um, and when we figure it out, it's a bit tricky. The, the servo will be able to start the generator automatically when the batteries get low. Okay, what's next? We've got the row above. We have a solar breaker. We like to have isolation on most things. So that solar breaker there turns off any juice coming down from the solar panels. Next to it is the Servo GX that controls and monitors the whole system along with the touch screen that you saw inside. Up the top we've got the Lynx power in, the battery monitor and the isolator, the main isolator for the whole system. That is a way to have a positive and a negative bus bar and fuses all in one compact neat unit. And the battery monitor is that thing there. On the row above we've got a 24 to 12 70 amp power converter so that takes the 24 volt power turns it into 12 volts at 70 amps so you can run any 12 volt stuff off of that so the whole 12 volt system that's in there is running off of that next to it is the soda controller it's the 150 60 tr again victron soda controller and then we have the whopping 24 volt, 5 kVA, 120 amp charge, multi plus two. Inverter charger. That takes your 24 volt and turns it into lovely 240 volt mains power. power. So you can run all your three pin sockets, all your household appliances off of that. Which is beast. It's a, a charger as well, so it can charge up to 120 amps when you plug into hookup. Um, and also, it's got a trickle charger on it, which looks after the starter battery of the vehicle. So that is a whopping, whopping system. It's all working. It's all been tested. Just waiting for the customer to collect it today. Oh, it's mad, isn't it? What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Very, very nice. Right, got to clean this floor. Get this get this van ready for the customer to collect. Alright, let me know what you think. We'll see you in the next video.